My name is David, and I am a Hridaya teacher here at Hridaya Yoga. Um, I come from the United States originally, but have been here for some time. Um, been living in Mexico and here at the school for about the past six years. Meditation, in my experience, is a process of learning how to be with oneself and be with what is um, in a transparency and an intimacy. So meditation is a way of simply a sense of resting in a quality of presence and just be, a sense of just be, like that feeling when we don't need to um, do anything or achieve anything or have any expectation, but rather we can just simply be. And there's like a sense of, I am here now. Yes? And meditation is a way of learning to rest into that very natural condition or space within ourselves. And in that, there's a intimacy that comes to our own inner world, be that our mind, our emotion, um, our experience, and also the world around us, the sounds, the perceptions, the sensations. Um, and meditation is kind of a progressive journey in learning that presence and intimacy with ourselves and with life. Well, I would say it's been very <laughs> beneficial, <laughs> meditation. Again, I, I started practicing about six years ago and was very inspired. I started with the asylum retreat here. Uh, and after that, I was just very inspired to keep, uh, to keep meditating every day, um, kind of drawn by and fascinated by the process and what it was. Um, and for me, over time, many benefits and beautiful things have come. Um, and challenges as well, <laughs> definitely. Um, but I would say those effects of meditation can be felt on many levels. You know? So from the physical body to the mind to the state of being, uh, like an openness and acceptance and availability to what is um, in different circumstances. So even as challenges come, and of course they do, and things can feel difficult or... Uh, many things, of course, come in life. That kind of background sense of being available, being open, being present, uh, a trust in, in this present moment and in life, that is something that I would say I've noticed has grown and kind of stabilized more and more over time and yeah, affects all of it, life. If I were to give recommendation to someone who wants a more constant meditation practice, uh, some of the first steps, um, well, very simply, I think one of the most important things when beginning meditation is to develop a consistent practice, even if that is a shorter period of time, you know, even if we don't have so much time in our day, developing something where we start practicing consistently, if possible, every day. So a very simple recommendation is um, choose a period of time, maybe uh, a couple weeks or a month or something like this and simply commit to a consistent practice of meditation. Choose even a time of day that you know can work for you and try to simply do it each day. Consecration um, is a big, beautiful topic in my experience. Um, but if I could say a few words about it now. Um, Well, consecration is meaning this with sacredness, consacrare, from Latin. And we could say this sense of sacredness is really referring to this sense of a deep presence and a deep intimacy with what is, you know, and a way of reconnecting with a deep sense of truthfulness, authenticity, aliveness um, of life and, and within ourselves. And so consecration is a way of remembering and reminding ourselves to reconnect with and to come back to this sense of depth or intimacy or um, 
deep sense of truthfulness within our being. And so a consecration is, is like a way of when we're about to do something, whether it's to speak or to do a particular task or <clears throat> to do a particular action, you simply offer mm, that action and what we usually say the fruits of that action. So what will come from what we're about to do, we offer that. And we offer it to something that is for us in our lives deeply real and deeply truthful and deeply meaningful. And so this is really the essence of consecration is to offer what we're about to do to the, the deepest principle or the thing that is most real and meaningful in our life. Um, so we can do a small consecration all together, yes? So if we're joining all together in consecration. Here at Hridaya, we would invite everyone to close our eyes and just resting in a comfortable posture for some moments. And allowing our entire being to fully relax. Letting go of any tensions, expectations, and simply allowing ourselves to become open and present. we can rest our attention in the heart, feeling a natural sense of intimacy, reconnection with ourselves, with this moment. And from this space, we consecrate, we offer the fruits of this day, our intentions, our thoughts, our actions. To the spiritual heart or to this very essence of our being. this deepest sense of presence, of beingness. This deepest authenticity of our own being. May this day and what we do honor this deepest truthfulness. From here we can just rest a few moments in this sense of presence, in this sense of really connecting to this truthfulness and purity of our intention for this day. Gently, we can open the eyes. 